welcome back to another video. So today we'll be taking a look at the Combat Utilities add-on. Um, I don't know, again, I don't know, as, al as always, I don't know exactly what's going to be in this add-on because I, you know, this is my first look at it, um, properly, but, uh, yeah. Should be cool, so let's take a look what the world decides to load in. Yeah, man. I swear this world is taking longer and longer to load into. There we go. Hey, I got the power suit on. Oh. Okay, so this is one of the things. So uh, above the players' heads, uh, you can see how many hearts they have and what uh, effects they have. So this will tell. Oh, relative combat effects. It doesn't tell you that I've got night vision, water breathing, and slow falling, but it does tell you that I've got speed, strength, regen, and the resistance. I mean, you can probably yeah, uh, it can probably tell that I've got like slow falling. I don't think if you're fighting me, you're not going to really need to know the other two. Uh, combat utilities guidebook. Uh, welcome to Combat Utilities Add-on. This special lure pack is all about making your battles even more exciting. Whether you're facing off against monsters, these improvements will give you the edge you need to come out on top. I think you were supposed to say that whether you're fighting off against monsters or other players, because it seems a bit off, odd to just get saying that and then moving on to the next thing. Well, I missed the part for a moment then. Uh, you can craft this uh, guide by uh, combining an empty book with any type of sword. Here are the awesome features included in the saddle. Wounded effect. Wounded is a new effect that can be applied to mobs, causing them to lose a portion of their health every second. The uh, likelihood of application depends on the type of weapon used and is limited to melee weapons. Tip. When you uh, apply the uh, new wounded effect, any uh, remaining damage will be uh, carried over and added to the new effect. So wounded dead de chance sensor. So upon landing a critical strike, the chance of applying the wounded effect is doubled. So gold is forty percent, neverite is thirty percent, diamond is twenty percent. Why is diamond twenty? Uh, why is that? Why are they lower than gold? Neverite Axe is 15, Iron Sword is 10, Diamond Axe is 10, Neverite Pickaxe is 7.5, Iron Axe is 5, and Diamond the, the Pickaxe is 5%. Why are they all lower than gold? That's odd. I mean, I guess it's to balance it out, because gold isn't very good, and then, like, Neverite and Diamond that is really good. But I think Iron should probably be a bit more... I, well, should should be more than diamond at these because on with that line of thinking, then I don't know. Uh, but let me get a gold sword. Uh, I'll just give at p gold sword gold. Oh, is it gold n? Yeah, there we go. Sword. There we go. So I guess I'll just like some witch. <laughs> oh right, my armor gives me strength, so I can just one shot them. Uh, let's wait for this to wear off. Why is it not wearing off? If I take all the armor off. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Oh. oh, there we go. You can see that it's doing, it did one damage for a few seconds. That seems a bit underpowered uh, for it, for how rare it is. 
Uh, it's only gonna. It only did like an extra like three or four damage. I couldn't see. It. I didn't count it, really how many damage it did. And if you're really that like, interested, you can slow the video down and watch and check yourself. But it seems a bit underpowered for like how rare it is. It's basically just like a four percent chance to do an extra couple of damage. And you're probably never, and it's probably never gonna really apply because in that, because in like within the Minecraft, with the exception of the Warden and the Dragon and Wither, um, you're good if you've got a Shamanist Five Sword, you're gonna kill everything in one to two hits. Vun vulnerable effect. What's this? Vulnerable is a new way to affect enemies. It has a 50% chance of applying every time an enemy is affected by weakness. Effect enemies affected that will receive repeated last damage damage after a short period of time. Just know it won't make them go away uh, right away. This effect won't trigger the wounded effect. The wording in this is not very good, so uh, every time they have weakness applied to them, enemies affected will receive repeated last damage. What is last damage? Right. I think it's probably just like the same as the uh, as the uh, uh, wounded thing. Uh, game mode one. So if I just go into game mode one, get a witch, spawn egg, and get myself weakness potion. So one minute thirty is the lowest. What is it? Because isn't it three minutes, four minutes? Huh. Oh wait, this is weaving. Yeah, that's weakness. Weakness, weakness, 134. Uh, I thought there would. Isn't there weakness 2? That would be shorter. And like a weakness 1 that you, that's longer. Uh, also, I need to patch this up from the last review. <laughs> None of them have got it. Oh yeah, that one got it. So it didn't do damage. I have no idea what this is supposed to do. Uh, that's a bit weird. Game mode zero. Uh, right, so on to the next thing. So I don't know what that's about then. That vitality gauge. The Vitality Gauge is a new feature that provides a visual representation of your targets. Oh yeah, that's just the hearts above them. Uh, damage display. This uh, the damage display feature shows the damage, amount of damage dealt. Yeah, so it just tells you how much damage you've done. We've seen that while I was here. Right, done. Uh, status icons to show, yeah, icons, visibility, website, buffs, and the negative effects that they have. Uh, examine mode. Examine mode allows you to analyze mobs by aiming at them with a bow, crossbow, trident, or spyglass to view their health and any uh, effect, effective effects, uh, active effects they may have. This will help you understand your enemy's health and status before engaging in combat. So, uh, I have a crossbow on me. So if I 
Go all the way over here. I put a witch down up there. I run away. I should, if I aim this crossbow at so I can see her health from here, but no. No, I can't. Ah. Oh. Maybe if I try with the uh, spyglass. Give a piece spy glass. Yeah, with the spyglass it does do it. But I don't know why you didn't do it with the crossbow. I don't know. Wait. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that's it up. Impact feedback. Impact feedback. Uh, promotes immersive feedback during combat. Range hits uh, trigger sound effects and critical stri uh, strikes shape the camera, making combat more engaging and exciting. So, uh, if I just take this arm off real quick so I can get rid of the status effects. Two, one. There we go. If I try to get a critical hit, yeah, there's some sound feedback. Yeah. Range hits trigger a sound effect and critical strikes, yeah. So let's try hitting with... So... I don't hear any sound effect. Maybe if I move back. Oh, if she would stand still that would be great. Oh yeah, got a little sound there. You have to be, a bit, you do have to be a bit far away. But I'm pretty sure there's already a sound, like a plinking sound that you, uh, or not plink, uh, like a little ding that would go off. I'm pretty sure that was already a thing. I know it definitely is in uh, Java edition. I know, I'm pretty sure it is in Bedrock. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's everything in this. It's a little bit, um, it's a bit, you know, there's a lesson here than I thought there was going to be. Uh, because it's kind of, well, all of this already kind of like exists in other add-ons. There's other add-ons that add, well, most of it does. The ruining effect is basically pointless because, you know, it's a, like a 10% chance to do like, Two or three extra damage when, if you've got a diamond sword, you and you've got like fully enchanted, you're probably you're going to be two shot at most things. So that is going to be like an extra couple of damage on like the wither or the ender dragon, which isn't going to really make much difference. The vulnerable effect does nothing so far I can tell. Uh, there's other add-ons. Uh, there's two other add-ons I know of with help bars, and there's two other add-ons with damage displays. The status icon, I think that is unique to this, I guess. The exam mode only really works with the spyglass, so far I can see. Uh, or at least it didn't work for my crossbow. And impact feedback kind of doesn't do much. So, yeah, kind of not very good. Hold on. Oh, 
But something that it doesn't do is that it doesn't uh, mess with these drawers, which is a problem the other, uh, the other health bar I don't have, because uh, how they did it is they uh, renamed the entity to their health status, um, where this and this, I don't know what's, this is, what, is a bit slew. Uh, so, so because these drawers are technically entities, it would change the, uh, item number on them to the health bar number, so you can see how much she had of an item. So this not doing that is cool, and I assume that it also doesn't do that with other add-ons that has en that have uh, entity blocks as like. So that isn't that is a that is a legitimate upside. So I guess yeah, I guess out of all the add-ons that do add that do add like a health bar and stuff, I guess this is probably the best one at least for like cross compatibility with other add-ons, without. You know, if you're not, if you don't really, if you're just looking for a health bar, I don't know how to other add-ons that just add a health bar, and yeah, I don't know. It's a bit hard to recommend. Uh, but I can definitely see why someone might want to use this. But yeah, if you guys, I guess that's that's all I have to say really. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and comment and all that. And I have a disc, there's a link down in the description there to the Discord where I send notifications out when I start a live stream and that I'm using on there and on there like talking and you know, well, if you like ask questions and stuff, you can, I'll like talk to you. Uh, and if you have like ideas for future videos, you can always like um, propose them there or just like request them or whatever. So yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video, and bye bye